Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to configure network address translation in a Cisco router. So let's look at our diagram to see what we're going to be achieving today. So here we have our home router, we have our ISP router, and we have Google configured with a server. So we're going to be trying to ping from here to Google and also trying to get to this website as well. So we should be able to get network address relation to show in the router once we get it configured. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is verify our interfaces. So let's just show IP interface brief. So this is our inside interface. This is our outside interface. So let's verify we do not have NAT configured on the router. Okay, we don't. Let's verify we don't have any network address translation going on right now. Okay, we don't. All right, so before we start, let's just verify we can actually ping google.com. Okay, we can. Now, the PCs won't be able to ping it at this point because we don't have network address translation configured yet. So let's just verify just so we are on the same page. Okay, we can see here they cannot reach that website. So let's start putting the configurations on it. All right, so the first thing we wanna do, if we look at our objectives on the right, we need to configure an ACL to identify the traffic that we want to partake in network address translation. So the first thing we need to do is create an ACL, so let's do that. I'm gonna put a standard and let's name it nat-ip. All right, so we want to per permit the 192 network. So let's say permit. We're going to do the wildcard mass. Okay, now we have the ACL configured to identify the traffic. So now let's go and configure the actual NAT. Now we're going to do NAT with overload that way all of these PCs can actually go out to the internet. So let's configure that. I'm gonna question mark so you guys can see. IP NAT, so we're gonna say from the inside, let's question mark, let's say source, question mark again, list. The list is gonna identify, I'll show you in the next one. So here's where we're gonna put that ACL that we just configured. So it's going to be NAT dash IP. Let me just verify that's what exactly what I put. Yeah. NAT dash IP. All right. So let's question mark. What interface? So now we're going to want to point this to the G001 interface on our router. So we're going to say gigabit. 0 slash 0 slash 1 question mark what's we'll it overload all right so now we have that configured so now we need to go and put our NAT on our interfaces we need to uh, verify that the inside is the actual inside for NAT and the outside is the outside for NAT that way we know where we are on the router so let's get into the outside interface we're going to say IP NAT outside and let's get into the inside interface. IP NAT inside. All right, so now we have everything configured. Let's verify we have our configs.
and let's just verify our ACL as well. Okay, so we have the NAT on the inside configure, the outside, and we here's our whole entire config for NAT with overload. So now let's just go verify to see if one of our devices can actually reach that web server. Okay, we can ping it now. So that's good. So now let's verify if we can actually browse to that page. And we can. All right, perfect. All right, so the IP on this one is dot five. So let's just go see if we see any network translations happening for dot five on our router. Let's clear up the screen. Show IP net translation. Okay, so we can actually see our inside global is dot two, which is right here. And you can see dot five. This is us going to that web server and you can see the translation is happening. So it's translating from this IP into the public IP configured on our outside interface. And you can see here where we actually browse to the website, you can see that we use port 80, port 80. So now let me show you how to clear network address translation. Now, don't do this in the production network because you'll drop all your internet connection for a few seconds. So here's how we clear it. Now you have to put the asterisk, that way it clears them all. So we hit the up arrow, so we shouldn't have nothing happening now, no network translation. So now let's just go on our other PCs. So this is dot four. Let's just verify we can ping first. You can see earlier we couldn't ping here. Oh, now we can, so now let's try to browse to that page. And we can. All right, so now let's also do this PC as well. This PC is dot three. Okay, we can ping. Let's see if we can browse. Okay, and we can browse. Okay, let's just go verify on the router that we see network address translations for those two devices. So we had four, we had five. So now let's see, we see three and four. Okay. So you can see right here, we have some ICMP traffic for dot three. That's going to 8.8.8. .8 and let's see, we see TCP connection for dot three on port 80 that's being translated in dot four as well. So that's how you configure NAT on a Cisco router. Thanks for watching. See you next time.